Hello, my name is Steve Thomas. I'm from Cadspace 3D Software in Sydney. And today we're going to be taking a look at some of the features in SolidWorks software for helping us to place uh, lettering of various types onto uh, planar and in this case non-planar surfaces. We're going to be looking at this plastic cover here and we'll look at a few of the options that we have. So we'll begin by looking at um, a pretty straightforward way of uh, working. Uh, so what I'm going to do to begin with is just put a, a plane um, at the back here that I can use to, to write my um, text on. And I'm going to just pick that surface, hit the S key, and from the uh, shortcut menu say I want to create a plane. Uh, it's got a 10 millimeter offset. That's fine. And I'll accept that. So I've now got a plane which I'll open out a little bit wider and view normal too. So I'm going to use this plane to create uh, my text that I'm going to add to my part. So with the plane already selected, I can go straight into the sketch tools. And um, a good idea when you're putting text on, just so as you can uh, per, uh, position it correctly, would be to go up here and just put on a center line. I'm not going to bother putting any sizes on, but uh, you obviously would. And I'm just going to put a line up there, and that gives me a guide um, to where my uh, text is going to go. So I can go straight into my text tool, and as the line was last selected, it becomes the, the default for the curve. I'm also going to uh, use um, a font not other than the document font, so I can go in there and select that first. Um, I just click the A key there, go into Arial, and I want a reasonable size font, let's say a, um, you know, 48 font or something like that. And then I'm going to put my text that I want. Okay. <coughs> Now, obviously, if I uh, were to project that through to the front, it's going to be backwards. So I've got a nice little tool here where I can just click this button here, and it will actually reverse the text for me. And if I'm happy with that, I say yes. So there's my text, and my text is already selected. And I can then simply use our extrude feature and send that text in the correct direction direction through to the front of the part. So now it's going from the sketch plane where it began all the way through to the front, uh, which is sort of what I want, but not really. So what I'm going to do first of all is change my from uh, so that instead of working from the sketch plane that we drew, I'm going to tell it to only start extruding from that surface there. Okay. And now I don't want all of that going out the front, so in the uh, direction point, I'm going to say offset from a surface. And I'm going to make that offset from that surface again. And this time I'm going to put a distance in there, let's say six millimeters. So there I've got my text on the wrong side, so I just need to reverse the offset. So it's poking out the front. And then we get the result that we're looking for. That's exactly what I want, and I click OK. So that's obviously one way of uh, projecting text through from the back, uh, starting on the curved surface. But of course, working this uh, in this fashion, you can see that the wording has actually been projected uh, vertically or normally straight from the surface or from the uh, plane, should I say, outwards. And so they're all pointing in exactly the same direction, which is perfectly okay if you're looking at it dead square. But if you are trying to roll that shape around and, and create a, an indent or something like that, then of course that's not what you want. So let's take another look at uh, another alternative. So I've just, uh, through a quick bit of editing, deleted uh, the previous uh, lettering. So what we're going to do is look at another alternative, and that is to uh, wrap this lettering onto our, contact, onto our um, contour face. And if we go to our features menu, we do have uh, a wrap uh, option. 
and it's asking me to uh, select the uh, sketch I should have done that first so if I do that so now we have a choice of emboss uh, which is going to give us uh, raised lettering which is what I want and I just simply pick the surface um, that I wish to use it on and as you can see the the lettering gets uh, brought out onto it I then just simply pick a height that I want the lettering to go to and accept it so here we can see uh, if we look at it from underneath now we can see that instead of the lettering now going normal to the uh, plane at which it was drawn it's now each individual letter is now going normal to the surface at that particular point which gives us a much more natural looking shape so there you've seen uh, a number of ways of putting lettering onto non-planar faces